find your rectus and slide over. And this is called the linea semilunaris, is where we make the transition from rectus into the lateral obliques. So you see how that's kind of curved around there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's linea semilunaris, and then that is your TA. Cool. So when you look at the TA, well, what you're looking for is, see this curve right here? Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. That's what we're looking for. So to activate it correctly, so show me what you think a TA activation is. Oh. Mm hmm And relax. Now go ahead and watch it. Whoa! Yeah, but what else is happening? Everything else. That's a big old chubby whole bunch of T of, of internal oblique. Yeah. The behavior of the tissue is deflection of the bladder base by the midline structures, observed as a cephalad cotad motion. Returning to our 30-year-old postpartum mom, first we can see a perfect pelvic floor muscle activation with a beautiful image of funneling. Next, she activates her core, and I ask her to perform an active straight leg raise. She struggles with this, and you can see loads of bearing down, which is indicative of poor core stability. The preset is all that's needed to obtain an excellent image quality. In a different patient, using the same preset, the bladder is quite large, so an increase in depth proves helpful for obtaining correct positioning of the area of interest. The goal is to have the bladder in the upper third of the acoustic window and the pelvic contents in the center.